Ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Harris, and we are back for another one. As well, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an incredible contest that is set for one fall. And well, ladies and gentlemen, let's go over the notes, shall we? Taking her way out to the ring, she is a mirror. And well, talking about athletes, this female is incredible. She used to play college basketball, volleyball, softball before training to wrestle in 2015. She would take some time off in about 2018 to finish her degree. Her style is a bit different than what I'm used to commentating. It's a it's a mix of a technical and a dynamic is she likes to use her opponent's momentum against them. This is going to be very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. And while, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of about incredible athletes, let's go over her opponent here tonight is making her way down to the ring. Here comes the most dangerous, the most dominant, and the hottest women's tag team in women's wrestling today, known as the Dames of Deception. But making her way out to the ring right now, she is the least La Prez. Well, this is going to be very interesting. I've heard so much about Elise. She's a powerhouse hybrid. She's the first Playboy cover girl of fame wrestling. Calls herself the leading lady of doom. This is going to be very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. I am excited for this match here tonight. But this is going to be one hell of a match. This is the first time I think I had the honor of commentating both of these women's matches. And it's going to be very new. I feel like this is going to be a really good match that we're all going to be into right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to ring the bell. As you can see the crowd We're here in Knockout Miami is the ref rings the bell here. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The following contest is set for one fall. Only one of these women will be walking out the victor. Is both of these. She talk trash and that slap right across the face. To Amara from Elise and following back with insult to injury forearm there a few seconds ago and now another forearm another forearm once again and here comes Amara Irish whip off the ropes leapfrog duck hunter and here we go looking to go for another duck hunter not trying to go for another leapfrog but at least caught the ropes that time and said nah I'm not following for your tricks as you can see, a little bit of a difference in Elise here tonight. Getting a bit frustrated so far. Amara's using her momentum against her, but no Elise caught her from that Hurricanrana. Looking to go for it with using those ropes, sending Elise into the ropes. Here we go, drop the dime, and now a huge drop kick over the top rope. The Technical, the high flying, the momentum from Amara, and now that huge punch. Looking to go for it with this spine buster there from Elise. Two. Is this going to be enough? No. Now that huge kick to the leg. And now looking to go for it with this stalling, the power of Elise here tonight. Using that stalling suplex. And now squatting down. You gotta you gotta think this is gonna be very different between these two. Amara is that technical, whereas Elise is that powerhouse. But no, Amara gets out of it here. Going for roll up. Roll up with the bridge. Is this gonna be enough? One, two, is it enough? No. And now another schoolboy. One, two, is this enough? No. Here we go, looking to go for it, but this time Elise Cotter with this 
Turning sidewalk slam, but no, gets out of it. And now sending her into the ropes once again outside the ring. And I think Amara may be looking to fly here. Size it up, Elise. And now looking to bounce off the ropes. What are we going to see? Suicide dive. No, Elise caught her out of nowhere. This is going to be very difficult for Amara to come back. She's got to deal with that power from Elise in this match. Go, ladies and gentlemen, both these women are incredible athletes now ramming her straight into the barricade. And now Elise is, she's, I think she just swore at the kid in the front row. Now, looking to go for it with that huge Alabama slammer on the damn apron. And I think this might be over, ladies and gentlemen. Irish whip back inside the ring. Looking to go for pinfalls. This going to be enough to put her away. One, two, and no, not enough. What is it going to take to put either one of these women down? Amara's got to do something to come back, ladies and gentlemen. And it's now that huge knee strike into the back. And now grabbing her by the hair and using that foot. And once again, going to go for it again. And now into the middle of the... Or almost into the middle of the ring. Excuse me. Bouncing off the ropes here with this huge splash to the back. Stomping the back once again. And now with this accolade. Using the hair to her advantage. Grabbing her by the hair. The ref has to do his job. Is America going to tap out here? Can you continue? Now you can tell this is uh, getting hot and heavy here tonight. Amara trying to fight out of it. The crowd clapping slowly, trying to get Amara to fight back here. And now that huge inverted uh, slam there in that following up with that forearm. Another forearm. Chop across the chest and now looking to go for something here. Never mind having something else in mind and now trying to go for that step up Benziguri, but Elise moved out of the way. And now step up Benziguri connects this time. America went up high risk here as now Elise with that pump kick out of nowhere and now looking to go for it. Her signature with this huge inverted razor's edge. Is this going to be enough? One, two. And no, still not enough to put away Amara. So now Elise is getting a bit pissed off with the ref here tonight. Getting a bit frustrated. Has now thrown a fit in the middle of the ring. So now... Go for the ending here, trying to go for that knee strike, but no, moved out of the way. And now Amara trying to come back here with this huge butterfly suplex, following up, not letting go with another inverted butterfly suplex, and now following up with this arm bar, arm bar locked in. Amara has it locked in tight, and I think this might be the end of the match here. Do you submit? It's either snap or tap for Elise right now. Trying to snap that arm. If she doesn't tap out, is Elise Do gonna to tap out here? Is she gonna tap out? Is she gonna tap out? Yeah. Now both these yeah. women continuing yeah. to fight back here. Yeah. And now set her up, caught her again with another arm bar. Arm bar locked in. It might be snap or tap for Did a second not? time. Elise just can't get her off that armbar. She's trying to fight out of it here. 
The punch is straight to the face and now setting her up with this huge inverted suplex. One, two, no, still not enough to put away Amara and you got to give it to both of these women here tonight. They are showing out for the crowd. As now, looks like Elise is trying to come back, trying to get the crowd behind her. That chop, and now a chop from Amara. Chop once again, you can hear these chops throughout the crowd, throughout the arena. Pretty sure you can hear them backstage as well. As now another chop, and both of these women, this ch consecutive chops across the chest. Another chop, and following up with another one. Back and forth these two go. Forearm, and there goes Amara down to her knees. And now following up with a forearm of her own. Another forearm, and Amara once again falling down. These stiff forearms from Elise are just overwhelming. And now the consecutive forearms, and here comes Amara with those repeated forearms. Elise firing back with the repeated forearms. Both of these women have lost it, ladies and gentlemen. Consecutive forearms here. Looking to bounce off the ropes for another one, but no. America Cotter, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Both of these women just beating the hell out of each other. Step up to Zaguri out of nowhere. Pump kick, and that might be it, ladies and gentlemen. If Elise can get in the pin, that, that might be it. What an incredible match this has been so far. The crowd are cheering on both of these women here tonight. Now, Elise trying to get up to her feet. Amara might be out cold. Never mind turning over, trying to get up to her feet. As now both women are up to their feet, staring each other down. Looking to go for it, bouncing over the top rope. But I don't think Elise knows where Amara is right now. Looking to go for springboard forearm. Out of nowhere, kip up from both of these women. Drop kick from Amara. And now bouncing up with this huge maneuver. But no Elise Cotter. Now with this huge maneuver, but no tripping her up with that leg. Using her momentum against her, and that's what Amara needs to do to stay in this. She's got to use Elisa's own momentum against her, but we got that STF locked in. Continue. STF locked in. Is this going to be enough to make her tap out here? The ref looking to ask Amara if she's going to give up. Is this going to be the end of the match, ladies and gentlemen? Both of these women have shown Dude, out here quit? tonight. It's either nap time or tap time. But Amara is getting out of this one. And now Irish whip into the corner, Elise. Staring her down, looking to go for it with this huge kick to the side of the head. With this kick to the leg. Looking to go for it here, ladies and gentlemen, but no Cotter out of nowhere. Dude, Busta. Going for pinfalls. This is going to be enough. One, two, three, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up to Amara, but your winner here tonight. She's the Lady of Doom. Elise LaPrez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have been your commentator for the evening, David Harris, and we will see you all next time.